without me. <laughs> Go in without me. We're here for Aladdin. <laughs> Hello Stagey Fam, it's me Erin James and um, you just saw two clips so you probably know what show we're taking you on a trip to see but this video is all about Aladdin, the musical on Broadway which is now a full long time runner on the New York stage at the beautiful New Amsterdam Theatre. This is the only theatre that Disney fully own on Broadway and I believe the only theatre around the world that Disney own not inside one of their theme parks. So we partly wanted to go to see the show because I'd seen it in the West End before but Mickey had never seen the show before and I wanted to ensure that he saw the original production because the West End and the Broadway productions both have more effects than they do on tour. If you didn't know Aladdin is just starting its UK and Ireland tour across the UK and Ireland and when we were heading over to Broadway I thought it would be really cool for Mickey to be able to see the original production so then when we see the tour we can see how different that version is to the original Broadway production and I wanted to ensure that Mickey saw like the full Friend Like Me and the full magic carpet sequence but I remember when I saw the West End of being just awestruck over there and I wanted to ensure that Mickey saw that because we both haven't seen the tour yet and I don't know if those are been changed and we both haven't actually seen a Broadway musical that's a Disney Broadway musical and um, we've seen obviously West End transfers of those shows like Frozen and The Lion King and I've seen Aladdin before but we've never seen a Disney musical on Broadway so what better way to do that than go to see it in the theatre that Disney owns. We both had been told so many beautiful things about the new Amsterdam theatre because this used to be a Follies house so it was we'd been told it's so extravagant and beautiful and all of that just made us desperately want to go and see for ourselves what it's like. So I'm going to pass over to Broadway Mickey and Aaron to uh, take you on a trip to the New Amsterdam Theatre and to show you just how gorgeous this theatre is and what I experienced at Aladdin was like. That's Will Rogers. Okay, the Will Rogers Follies. Lily and Lorraine. Oh, look at that fancy move. Wow, this was a Follies house and you can so tell by the glamour. Here's a merch. This is such a fancy merch booth. Wow, love it. Here we go. Look at this auditorium. This is stunning. I understand what everybody raves about it. And we have our playbills. The show's about to start, but I am in awe. I'm in awe. I am in awe of this auditorium. Look at all of these in the display case. There's even follies, there's all things that have appeared here before. And there's a Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse figure and record player. So stunning. Literally, this theatre is just absolutely breathtaking. Oh my god, hey, it's Mickey Joe here to talk you through the featured show cocktails. We have an Agrabah Marketplace, which is aviation gin, melon liqueur, love that, cucumber mint syrup, again, cucumber syrup, uh, lime and tonic, then a desert bloom, vodka, elderflower, rose syrup, lemon, and I'm not even going to pronounce that, but it looks interesting, and then a whole new world, which has Jack Daniels hazelnut liqueur, honey, lemon, and cinnamon fig bitters. Wow, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? There you go. I also spy these magic lamp shaped cookies called Three Wishes. Look at those, very cute. Okay, this is not only the best merch booth I've ever Okay, this is not only the best merch booth I've ever seen on Broadway, but maybe in my entire life. Uh, so we have this genie bear. Aaron loves this because of the eyebrows. Uh, also a cinch bag there. They are doing a deal we can get a cinch bag and trinket set for just $10. And you can see the trinket in there. We have the Aladdin CD and program. That's a dubious spelling of the word program, but it looks very shiny. Uh, we have some other little bits and pieces here. I like the rotating lamp there. You can see a cup. Uh, now, the cups that come with the cocktails don't have an Aladdin design, so you may want to get this reusable cup here. We've got mugs. You can see Jasmine. She's had better hair days than the one she's currently experiencing. Uh, another bear, more lamp ornaments. This t-shirt is nice with the shining, simmering, uh, simmering? <laughs> simmering, we're cooking today. Shining, shimmering, splendid there. That's for $40. We have cute little notebook and pen set in a lovely shade of peacock. There's Jasmine standing. That's a $45 plush. 
Um, we have a lamp necklace that's very cute. You can see a better shot of the tumbler up there. And a purple t-shirt. Loving that. Moving over to the middle, we can see the back of two different spirit jerseys, as Aaron's just told me. We have a wish-granted one there and an Aladdin one. One in a deep blue that's sparkly. Uh, and $65, and then the other one, same price, but purple. I see a blanket, I see a tote bag. Um, there is the bear. Is the bear cheaper than the Jasmine doll? That doesn't make sense to me, but we'll go for it. Yeah. Um, and then I spy another T-shirt just round there. We have lamp ornaments, we have a hoodie, and yet another style of T-shirt. Lots of merch, as you would expect, with a Disney show. Lots to enjoy here at Aladdin, at the New Amsterdam Theatre on Broadway. So, Disney's Aladdin the Musical is obviously an adaptation of the Disney film Aladdin. It, it basically follows most of the original plot points from the film. However, there are elements in the musical that are from the cutting room floor of the film. So, the song Pride of Your Boy, which is by Alan Menken and Howard Ashman, was cut from the original film. It's a song where Aladdin sings to his mother and then it was added back in for the musical, which I'm so happy about because it's just one of the most gorgeous songs just ever and I'm just happy that it's there and it gives this beautiful warm moment for Aladdin. It's such a wonderful musical theatre song. I'm glad that it now just has an existence and is part of a musical theatre canon proper rather than potentially being a lost song forever. Another element to this show that has been added that was cut from a film is Aladdin's friendship group, Babkak, Omar and Kasim, who've all been added in, who add a lot more fun and mayhem and make up for the fact that Abu is not in the show, nor is Rob. And Iago is there, but not as a parrot. That's probably one of my big, like, huh, with this show is that obviously Disney are well known for bringing their animated characters to life, including the animals, so like Sven and Olaf and Frozen, the loving King Wazazu and the whole cast because everybody's animals. And I, it just always a little bit of niggles me that with Aladdin, they kind of took the approach of how do we do it without having the creativity of having a boo be part of this or having, I kind of get with Roger because Roger doesn't have a massive role, but like Carpet is not anthropomorphic in this. Iago is not a parrot and I love, I actually really enjoy Iago in the musical, but there's this part of me that's like, I really would have loved a parrot puppet. So. That's my, that's my, if I'm, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I feel like Aladdin is a really beautiful, like, full Broadway musical. Like, it gives the big spectacle. If you're going to New York and you want a spectacle musical, this is the one for you. Similarly, on the UK tour, if you're looking for a big, kind of, Disney, fallout musical, Aladdin is a very good shout for you. I just think it's probably one of the less creative Disney musicals. It has its moments of spectacle with Carpenter it and friend like me. I just miss some of the creative joy that comes from some of Disney's more out there musical adaptations. The theatre is stunning, like as you probably saw, and the merchandise is expansive. And so will the so are like the refreshment options. Everything there just feels big. <laughs> big, Broadway, exciting. I think Disney have done a great job as well with their front of house. They're so on it and you can tell that they're Disney cast members because the experience is so so hard of importance and which is great because it's such a massive theatre as well that it's nice to know that then the personal element is still there, it's not lost in this gigantic theatre. Whilst talking about Aladdin, 
the veil, the lighting adjustment, and a boo. There is an Easter egg though. You will see a character that looks like a boo in the show. Do you know the moment what I'm talking about? It always makes me smile, but they didn't completely forget about a boo because he's just so cute. That has been a big chat about Aladdin. Comment below about a Disney musical that you really hope is adapted to the stage. Or what you would like to see Disney do next. Because actually we haven't heard much of new things. Um, me and Mickey went to see Hercules earlier in the year. Kind of otherwise there's not been that many, especially new adaptations announced. I know that Germany's got a, a massive amount of Disney shows coming. Like the excitement that I feel just that they're going to be re-examining Hercules with Casey Nicola. That they're bringing out Tarzan back. I really want to see Tarzan because I love the film. And I, I like some of the musical things that they've done with the music. So there's part of me that just wants to be able to tick it off. Um, Aida's currently on in the Netherlands. The only thing with Aida is we, we were so excited about it, but I think we're trying to hold off until it goes to an English language production because I think my first experience of Aida not being in English might be a bit difficult. Whereas, for example, we're so excited about Hercules because we've now seen this production, the ori origins of it in New Jersey. It'll be interesting to see how that's developed. And so there's that element of excitement. But I am intrigued what Disney will do next. If anybody didn't know, Disney and theatre, when it comes to an intersection of both, is like my golden sweet spot of nerdum of excitement. So, yes, please comment below because I would be so intrigued to hear what you would like to see become a musical. And if there's any Disney theatre insiders, hello. Always happy to chat and nerd and discuss and everything more. And hello to any Disney cast members, former Disney CM here, so, I mean, obviously. <laughs> So, I have loved chatting to you. I hope you enjoyed this vlog showing you all the fun that is at the New Amsterdam Theatre where Aladdin is running. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head to Mickey's channel where you'll see more of our other trips to see Disney musicals as well as on here. I think there's a few Disney vlogs on here and Disney musical theatre vlogs. So keep a watch. All of our Conan theatre trips have been filmed and hopefully maybe some Disney trips. Who knows if you would like to see that. But don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and see you soon. I hope you have a magical and stagey rest of your day. Bye!